Hello everybody. So uh, we're off fossil hunting today. Hope you like my Corona haircut, didn't it myself? But uh, yeah, we're uh, going to go to Gloucester, going to Ost, Ost Cliffs. A-U-S-T Cliff. So uh, yeah, we should have a good day. Um, takes about an hour and a half to get there. Um, but yeah, we should find some bone, maybe some teeth, stuff like that. So it's going to be small little teeth. But uh, you never know what you're going to find on the day. It should be fine. I'll show you where I got the crystal from. I'll show you the big veins of quartz going up the cliff. Um, it's quite cool how you get there as well. I don't know how it's going to work at the moment. But, uh, yeah, we can give it a go. But, uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, comment and share. And uh, I'm going to pack my bag now. And then um, we'll, have a, we'll have a drive down. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in a sec. Hello, everybody. So we're, we're off fossiling. I've just had to pop into the shop to check if... Uh, Big Mum and Royal et a rat or not. So I can't leave it in there for longer than I have to. No, she ain't. So, good thing I came in. See? If I'd have left that any longer, it'd have got really funky. We can't be having that. It's not very healthy for her. And uh, you don't know what. If there's a fly randomly in the tank, you land on it, you get maggots. You don't want stuff like that. So uh, I'll whip it out, throw it in the freezer, and then um, that will get incinerated. But um, yeah, so I'll do this and we're off fossiling. The next thing you'll see is probably me doing some weird driving with the car. Because um, I've got to go across this estuary thing which gets flooded quite often. So that's going to be cool to cross. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you when we're going that. Hello, everybody. So we've made it. We've got to go over there to where that bridge is. So I know we're right this time, so I'm not going to get lost this episode. So, uh, but yeah, we're definitely all the way over there. It's a different bridge. But um, I'm thinking the link with bridges and fossil sites is they, um, they actually had to dig into the mountain, well, the, the cliff, to, uh, to put the bridge in. And I think that's how they found that they noticed there was fossils there, and that's how it became a protected site. So I think if they've, I think that's why this usually fits on these river edges where you wouldn't really go any other time, apart from if you were building something across the bridge, the river, sorry. I think that's how they've spotted the fossils and it's become a protected site. So uh, I'll show you where it is. It's all the way over there. So back in the day, you used to be able to drive all the way down there. But I've just spoke to some people and they said you're not allowed to anymore. So uh, it's a shame because it's a cool drive because you're, you're on like a, this weird path thing. I'll show you when we get down there. But yeah, I'm going to start hiking. So when you get here, you've got to park all the way up that road. You've got to walk down. You used to be able to drive all the way down here. But I think the uh, people in the houses started moaning. But, uh, yeah, you used to be able to go through this gate here. I've got to watch it because the random is walking around. But, uh, so you look, says, you can't go down there. You people were doing it, but to be open at any hours in the day or night. Oh, so you might be able to go, you should be able to drive down there then, harder for But uh, we won't risk it, we won't risk it. We won't risk it. You know what people are like. They're like throwing their weight around, don't they, when they've got a bit of power. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll crack on and I'll show you when we get to a bit further down. And it looks a bit better. So this is where the last time i seen the fishermen driving down. It would have been quite cool to drive down it. But, uh Oh well, but uh, should be quite cool. Just means I can't bring as much back. Because uh, last time, well, I had to park, we parked in the same spot and I had to uh, hike that big bloody uh, crystal back. Christ's sake, that was ridiculous, that was. It was so heavy. But if we find something just as cool, you know what I'm like, I'll be taking it home. So. I've got my trusty, trusty carrying bucket. So you haven't seen this before. I forgot to take it on my last couple of adventures. But uh, I found it out the shed, cleaned it out. It's perfect for carrying fossils. It's nice and sturdy. So uh, 
Yeah, it should be fantastic. I mean, look at the views. So this this pathway is actually for that power that um, what's it called that power power line. So uh, so everybody can get down to there. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but there is that many bugs over there. It is like it's making it all look like it's all wiggly. If I can get closer, I'll try and get a better picture of it. But there's that many bugs over there flying above them. It almost looks like it's heat coming up. It's all wiggly. So I'm at the entrance. That's the sign there. The little chair, so you know you're in the right spot. And it's literally right by that there. We've got some fishermen and that about. But, uh, oh. Yeah, we should find some fossils. Should be pretty cool. Oh, I've been here a couple of times, so I know there's definitely stuff here. Just got to get to the right spot. But uh, yeah, we should have a cracking day again. There's tons of stuff everywhere, so I'm going to try and get away from everybody. So uh, I ain't got to worry about filming anybody. Yeah, we should have a really good day. So you can see these first couple of feet in is where everybody comes and smashes the rocks if they're going to be doing it. And it goes, you can go past the bridge and all the way down there. But I've just spoke to the fisherman and the water's on the way out, so I've got here at the perfect time. So I should be getting more and more stuff exposed as we get further on in the day, which is even better, but look at the cliff. So you've got to be very, very careful of the cliff because it can be very unstable, especially as it's been raining lately, and you're not allowed to bang on the cliff. But uh if you ask one of my old mates that I used to come up here with, I accidentally banged on the cliff and a big rock slide came down and he crapped his pants and he had to run away. But I thought it was well funny. But yeah, we're going to see if we can find anything in these first couple of rocks. Just, oh, look at that, fossils straight away. So I'm going to switch to my other camera and I'll give you a little look. He's got the first fossils of the day. Apparently you can find footprints and loads of other crazy stuff. But a lot of the stuff we're going to be looking for is going to be in these little piles of stones. This is where the teeth are going to be. Is that something there? I think we've got a little tooth already. So we put that in the tub. Um, anything else in our little surrounding area? Always have a good look because you never know what you buy. You want to look behind big rocks as well the water puts all the heavies behind it and that usually means fossils as well but we'll have another rummage and uh, yeah everybody's going now so I'm on me tod Whee! that's how I like it so uh, yeah we crack on find some more little bits and bobs what's this here it looks like there was something there at some point. See how it's popped out? Mmm. Very peculiar. So uh, we're going to carry on looking. Dirty buggers leaving their sandwiches. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to having a really good day. So you're looking for the brown, the brown rock. Not the brown rocks, the grey rocks. All this brown stuff... It's all clay rocks. This is going to be where none of the fossils are. So you want to stay away from this. You want to go to more the, it's not that colour, almost the middle, in the middle of them two. So it is hard to find the actual one. But if I find the right, the right type, I'll show you. But yeah, you want to stay away from these. Look at that. If you'd have been stood by there when that came down, mate, there wouldn't be much left of you. But yeah, we're coming up to the quartz seams now. So these are all the quartz seams. See them coming up? So that's all quartz. All these seams coming up. So at one point, this would have all been lava. Coming up, and then it all solidified. And you can see here where people have been smashing it to try and get big chunks off. My bit, literally, just, just fell off the cliff and I just picked it up, so. But yeah, that's what we're looking at. So that's all the quartz coming up. As you, further down, there are some bigger seams. You can see where people have been digging into the cliff. You ain't gonna find nothing that layer. The fossils are up there. So I don't know what you're digging down here for. You ain't gonna find nothing. 
bottle quartz. But uh, it's where you usually find gold a lot of the time in quartz. But uh, I haven't seen anything spectacular yet. But as soon as I see anything good, I'll let you know. But uh, look at the place, look what a nice day out. I mean, there is some more people coming down, but it's a bunch of, bunch of kids. So uh, they don't have to be, that could be competition or anything. So that's fine with me. I mean, look at the rubbish. I hate coming, there's so much rubbish. You know me, got to stay clean. If you brought it with you, you take it with you. You never leave anything behind. You want to leave it just as clean as you took it. You always want to take your pants with you as well. Leaving without your pants on is probably a no-no. I'd have to say that. But yeah, it looks like it's been snowing, didn't it? It's nice little quartz. Ooh. See, that looks good on there. I think it's fossil tree or something like that. Some more there. Hmm. Very interesting. I have got some fossil wood coming into the shop next week. So uh, that'll be nice. Ooh, pink quartz. Ooh. That's nice. That's nice. There's two little bits of that. Let's we'll take a little bit of that. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Sweet. So look, we've got to get into the bigger seams now. Coming up the rock. Some of the bigger boulders. See, this is where mine was. Mine was just sat on the floor and I just picked her up. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, really, really cool place. I mean, to see, there you go, look. Just like that, mine was. So what I'll do is I'll probably stand that up like that. So if we see it on the way back, I'll pick it up and we'll take it with us. Because you know what I'm like, I can't leave anything. Um, but yeah, as soon as we find the right rocks, I'll give you a bell and uh, I'll let you know. You don't need to go down there, a lot of it's going to be up here. So, we should have a lovely day. The type of the rock we're looking for. See all this in here? It's all fossils. So that's exactly what we're looking for, that is. We won't be able to do much work on it today because it's a lot more delicate. But uh, we can put it in our tub, we've got our, everything prepared. So uh, if we get a bit of time, we can do some chiseling. Well, I think a lot of it's gonna be collecting, popping back to the car, and then um, coming back and stuff like that. So yeah, it should be really, really good, really good. Hey guys, this is the bridge. I was on the other side, I was, I was over there last time. You know when I got lost? We was over there. Can't believe I didn't realise that. Yeah, we was all the way over there, and the actual spot we were fossiling is about there. That's where we were. So not too far spot, so you could almost have a two days. You could almost have a day over there, a day over here. It's have a um, stay the night over in Gloucester somewhere. When obviously when it's not Corona, but uh, I'll show you some more of the seams because they come right out the cliff here. Look at that. Proper seam of quartz. So in America and other places like that, you'd most likely find gold in it. But there's no metals or anything like that rusting out of it. So you know it's virtually pure quartz. So, uh, yeah, I didn't realise that till the other day, till a second ago. Till I noticed the bridge was exactly the same, and I thought, well, that's a bit strange. Normally the bridges are slightly different. But, uh, yeah, found some... Uh, Tiny bits and bobs, nothing spectacular. But uh, if we find anything really cool, I'll let you know. We have a break and have a chill. We'll have a chat and stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you anything good we get. But I'm going to go past the bridge now. Should we go underneath the bridge? I think so. I've never been past that far. So, this is why you always check the tides when you come into places like this because you can get trapped. If you were coming round here, and it was round the other side and the uh, water was coming in, then uh, you're going to get locked off. We'll have a little look. If it looks too dodgy, I'll go up and go that way. 
because I ain't messing about. I'm not getting in trouble. I'm not having the Coast Guard called for me, I tell you that now. Especially while coronavirus is coming on, you'll be on the bloody news. So I don't think many people go here. Yeah? But uh, it's a bit dodgy up here. So I ain't getting wet today, I'll tell you that now. So if it's too slippy, too dodgy, we ain't gonna do it. I don't think we're gonna do it, we really don't. Like walking on that, so yeah, there it is. Ah! yeah, you could probably get trapped if you weren't paying attention. So, uh, I'll tell you a little bit, we're all right, we're getting a bit better. So, <laughs> always check the tides, the tides are going out now, so uh, I'm okay. This should get less and less water, but uh, if it was the other way around, I could get trapped get stuck and we don't want that, we don't want that. It's getting a bit muddy. Mm. I think we're gonna make it. So we're under the bridge there. Woo. Little step down. Oh. So that whole stretch, I didn't look for any fossils. I was more concerned about staying alive. Staying alive. We can have a look at this little bit here. Yeah, it's not, it's all sand by the looks of it, so it doesn't look like mud. Um, I can't see anything, because this is a spot where no one's really going to go. It gets turned over quite a bit by the water, I would assume. Um, I can't see much. We'll carry on, have a look around the cliff, and then if we spot anything cool, I shall show you. Around the corner, look at that, more cliff, and there's not a soul. So that's where we've just come. Under the bridge. So uh, that's what I'm walking on. So very dangerous, very slippy, covered in seaweed. Hey, sweat in the sea aquaman. There's that much seaweed. But uh, looks like people have been walking in the mud. Why on earth would you walk in the mud? That is definitely footprints of people, that is. Well, I suppose you can get fossilised footprints, but I wouldn't have thought so. That looks like a rock. That's a rock. That's a rock. That's a rock. Rock. There you go. Rocks are the winners. <laughs> you know, rocks are safe. So... Oh, I've never been round this. Look at that. Whole stretch of beach. And I'm on me toddy. I've been thinking about doing some sort of competition. And then the winner gets to come fossil hunting with me. I thought that'd be quite cool. Um, before we did the big one. Before I can do some little... One-on-one um, -on -one bits or something like that. If you, I don't know what competition it would be yet. I don't know. Maybe I find a random fossil and we do a guess the fossil, or um, I don't know what we could do. Some sort of competition. But uh, yeah, I think that'd be cool. And then the winner could come with me. Maybe their parents as well if they were a little bit younger. Um, but yeah, I thought that'd be a bit something a bit different. Come fossil hunting with me. But look, I've got all this, and I'm on me tod. And the good thing is, if the water does come in and you get stuck, you can go up there. So I think that would save your life, that would, if you got stuck. So I'm not too concerned about the water at the moment, even though it is flying past us. You see it? So we're... Uh, I'm going to find a nice spot to get settled. I think I'm going to have my pack of crisps. And then uh, I'm going to look for some more fossils because I've never been down this section. We, 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 because we weren't, I didn't do much research the last time I came. We only thought it was to the bridge. We didn't realise it was beyond the bridge. So uh, I haven't seen much fossils though. 
which might be a sign why there's no people up here. But uh, I'll have a rummage if I find anything I'll let you know. Might be some cool stuff because no one's been here. Look at the size of this quartz boulder! Look at the size of it! I don't think I'm going to get that back to the car, do you? It's huge! I bet that weighs half a ton. I bet it does. Look at that. All the quartz underneath, the little lava dirt. That is cool. Look at the size of it, man. It is absolutely huge. I bet that weighs half a ton. Something like that. I bet it, because I bet it goes further into the rock. So, that's cool. I split it apart. How cool is that? Imagine that's a basking spot. And then look at that crystal, it's pink. Pink quartz. It's a nice sheet of it. This is just, it looks like chocolate almost to be fair. Proper looks like chocolate. Just a dirt and clay mix, I think. But look at that, look at the colours on that, bit of quartz. Do the same this side. I think it's a bit more rocky this side. Yeah, I'll probably do that at home. Some nice pieces, those are. Some nice pieces. So I've just been having a little tap. I just found that. It's the whitest shell I've ever found. Hmm. Different, isn't it? Well, hey, first bit of fossilized bone. You can see it. Can you see it? See it there. There's all fossils going through this, look. There's actually a bit of exposed bone. Fantastic. So there are some other bits of it around, which we're going to be trying to look for. It looks like it's all shattered, so there's another piece. So it's not big enough, I don't think, for anything to be salvageable same with that piece too small some more here see this is all fossils a bit more bone sorry I'm crap with the camera Something nice there. Mm, we might keep that piece. We might keep that piece. Um, there's another bit of it. See? Oh! Can you see it? Tiny little tough at the end. Tiny little teeth, look. Boom! Come on, camera, focus. Tiny little teeth at the end. If I can get them out the rock, I will. Tiny little teeth. So I just found that. Let me get it in the sun for you. So I'll get my little chisels out and I'll see if I can pop it off. And then, uh, we'll have a look-see. So that's what we got out of it. Pretty cool, pretty delicate. So I don't know I'm going to get that back, but we'll try our best.
I'm coming for you, camera. I ain't forgot you. I'm coming. Ooh. I will pick up a bench. Look what I've just found. Look at that cracking piece of bone. Look at that. What a sweet bit of bone. We found a bit of bone! Woo! Oh, I'm well happy now. Look at that bad boy. Sweet, so we're gonna have another look round. It's on this, these types of rocks. So we'll have another look through them, see if we'll find anything else good. Woo! Best find of the day. Look at that. Just found another piece of bone. Look, see it's all shiny. That's nice, that's going to come with us, that's another piece. Look at that. It's a perfect piece of bone, that is. So I'm literally just looking through the ones that are close to it, and they're the same. And then, when I'm finished with them, I'm putting them out there, out the way, so I know not to look through them again. You never want to touch a rock twice, because it's anti-productive. What's a big piece of it? This would be nice. If there's anything in it, it'd be bigger. Hmm. Can't see much. Oh, there's another piece there, look. Perfect. That's a nice bit of bone. Um. There was a bit of bone there, but it's smashed. Mmm. I think we've got the best pieces out of it. Oh, there was a nice piece in there, look. At one point. Oh, that would have been so nice to have. That's just the imprint of where it was. A little look round just to check it hasn't fallen out. I think I found the bit of bone. Oh, it's big. Oh no, it might not be the right piece. I think that's bone, it's hard to tell. Can I get any water anywhere? Mm, I don't think it's bone now. I cleaned it. Ooh! That is, though. Look at that bad boy. That's why you always flip the fossils over. Look at the size of that piece of bone. Woohoo! Doing well today. Doing well today. So I've got to get back to me, Paul, before I lose it. Um, and I've lost it. Aha! There we are. So I'm gonna put these away now before I lose them. Oh, so moving away from that spot now where I found all them good bits of bone. Um, I've had a good rummage, but day's getting on, and I want to search the rest of it. So uh, I don't think many people come this far, so I think that's why I'm finding such good stuff. 
So I'm thinking if I carry on going, I might find some more. But we are getting thin on the ground on rocks. See, there's all rocks there. And up here, I'm starting to lose the rocks. So, might be a good sign, might be a bad sign. Might be more of the rocks we want and less of the rubble. But um, I don't know yet because I've never been this far up. But uh, yeah, we're fine. Found some cool stuff today so far. Big quartz boulders and, and all stuff like that. But uh, fossils are cool. I'm loving, loving the fossils. Fossils are really good. But uh, bags starting to get heavy. Tubs starting to get heavy. I think we're starting to lose area now. I'll show you. So I'm not sure what the crack is. But um, if I find any more this way, I'll let you know. If not, we'll turn round, head back. Um, maybe load the car out, load the car up, and come out again. That might be a good idea. Saves me carrying it all, all the time. Oh, someone's made a little campfire. So someone's been this far. Whether they found anything, I don't know. Looks like they were just chilling. Oh. They used a nice crystal rock though. Some of the crystals on here are going to be huge. Oh, look at that crystal I just got out. Oh, sweet. I think the heat has made them all fresh. Oh! I'll get the other camera, get the other camera out. Actually in a fire pit that someone's built. But look at these crystals that are just coming out of the rock. That I can just, just pick up. I've only literally lightly touched them. And they're all coming out of the rock. Look at all these crystals. Now this is cool. I've never done anything like this before. Just pick it up. Look at these crystals. Wow, I need to find something to put them in. I'll find something to put them in and we can collect the rest of them, I think. So the only thing I can find is the case for my GoPro. So, it's gonna have to do for now. But it'll keep me crystal safe. Look at all them. So, some other big ones in here. Um, oh, look at that one, it's shattered though, I think. Um, Oh, look at that one. Oh, more, more. They're just picking crystals out. That. Just, I'm literally just flicking them out tired because I keep putting you in the shade. Whoa! That's a big one. Another one. See, there's loads of crystals all lying on top of each other. I think I've got them. Oh, that one's really nice. If we can dig around and get that one, we dig around and see if I can get him eat. There we go. Wow, that's got to be the nicest one of the day. Got to be the nicest, clearest, straightest one of the day. Oh wow! I literally just popped him out of that groove there. Uh, I don't think there's anything else worth tapping for. Oh, that's a nice-ish one. Oh, that's a nice one, but I think it's broken. Oh, well, we'll close her up. Okay, well, I don't think it's going to close now. There we go, safe crystals. 
So I've accidentally ended up up the cliff. You know what I'm like. Don't do what I do. But uh, just found this bad boy. So we've got bone there. More there. More of a fossil there. So that's a nice piece. We'll bring that with us. Can't see much else. I'm going to have a little more of a rummage. See if there's anything else about we can have a look at. Um, what you got on you? I can't see anything on that one. Um, no, I'm not going to go up there. It's too steep. I'm going to go across this way, though. Um, that rock's looking peculiar. Um, um, can't see too much. I've got one nice piece, I suppose. <laughs> Gotta try and get back down now. Oh. Can we do a jump now? <laughs> Something on it. Hmm. Wonder what that is. That Nothing on that side. Oh, a big slab's just come off it. Hmm. Not very big because there's only a thin little slice looking, it's not poking through, so. Yeah. We're leaves her. We're leaves her. And I think that's the first time you've heard me say that, leaves are it. <laughs> oh. So, we'll have a look at this back of this spoil pile. That looks like a nice bit of rock to look at. Mm, no, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Anything in here? No, I can't see nothing. We're looking for these multicoloured rocks. And there's just, there's just none here. They're all plain colours. Oh. Oh. So I'll rock, I know, just roll this down to have a look at, but I don't think there's anything on it at all. We'll flip it over just for good measure. Oh no, we'll just roll it down the cliff. Whoa! Oh, wow, 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 that was a bramble bush that went with it. Ah, oh, that got me in the hand, that did. Oh, that got me in the hand. Oh. That was a good one. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, get down the hill. And then... Uh, I think we're coming towards the end of the fossil spots, to be honest. We were still finding good bits, but it's just getting a lot more thin on the ground. I mean, this looks like a good rock. It's covered in little fossils. There's absolutely nobody around, so I left my bags over there. I've got my wallet my phone on me, so... <coughs> oh, hay fever. It's only going to be fossils they'd pinch if they did. So, um, some people have been here, look. There must have been a fossil on there he's had. So, uh, cause you're drinking a tap of the rock like that for no reason. So some people are coming this far. So then there's more quartz smashed. Someone's done loads of it here, look. Absolutely loads. I've never seen quartz like that and they've powdered it. Why would you smash that much? What was you looking for? I reckon they were looking for gold. I really do reckon they were looking for gold. Yeah. I reckon they were doing it and then panning it and seeing if they were getting any gold out of it. 100%. Oh, 
But I really don't think there's any gold around here. I'm sorry to be having it. So I lose me gold. That's pretty cool. That's it, it man. That's a bit random, isn't it? So, what do you reckon, a kid or an adult? Kid or an adult? Oh, I reckon a kid. My hand's still almost twice the size. And this is just a little woman or something. Ah, if it's a bloke with a little hand, that'd be funny. <laughs> oh, this is the rock we're after. Uh, I think they've been smashing on it to get some stuff off there. Um, okay, I'm having a wonders. That's a nice piece of wood. Oh, so he's had another slough off here. Good places to have a rummage because we want that stuff up there. That little orange band, that's what we want. So, yeah, look, it's all come down with it. But we don't want the shells, we want better stuff than shells. We want the bones and the teeth and stuff. Um, Not that I can see. Loads of shells. I can't see any bone in it though. All shells. Oh, red ant's nest. Oh. I think we need to move from there, don't we? Woo. No, I think these aren't fossils, I don't think. Is it? I don't know. I think they are, look. No? I'm sorry. And that's strange. Uh, unless they've came down with it, but... So I've never seen like fossilized snails. Do you think they've just come down with it? I don't know. Put you what you think in the comments. Do you reckon these are fossils or do you reckon they've just come down with the dirt? Because there are some more. Oh okay. Woo! Don't tread there. Don't tread there. I think they've just come down with it, I think. Yeah, look, it's loads, look. I don't know, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I'd hate to leave them behind, and if they were, I really would. Um, I can't see much more. What's this down here? Oh yes, the red ant's nest. Ah! Yeah. Sorry, ants. Didn't mean to. I'll move away and try and remember where you are so I don't tread on you. So these are usually nice pieces because they've got usually got a nice bit of fossil on. I'm just getting them out.
We'll have a little climb, shall we? We'll have a little climb. Ah, someone's been here before, look. Footprint. Someone's beat me to it. They come up and look at that, look. That's what they wanted to look at. We see if he missed anything, shall we? Let's just try and find where he went. If he got to here, yeah. so we've got footprint, footprint, footprint. Um, I can't see where he went after that. That looks like a footprint there, doesn't it? Ugh, dust in my face. Yeah, that's a footprint. So I think he's come up this way. <coughs> I ain't the only maniac that goes up cliffs, you see. Uh, but we're not tapping on the cliffs. We're not allowed to. We're only having a look, seeing what's fell. <coughs> oh. But most likely if there's anything really good, that bloke would have nabbed it, I think. But we may be going higher than he went. <coughs> Still snails, look. Woo! Don't want to fall down there, do I? Do not want to fall down there. Uh, okay, so still unsure about the snail shells. We've got to try and make it up here now. Okay. Um. Right. I'm virtually at the top now of the uh, the slough off or mud slide. Um, what's this? Oh, it's heavy. anything in it. Oh, struggling off what find loads up here. Oh well. Rich at the top. Yep, we're at the top. What a cracking day for an adventure, eh? What a cracking day. So, woo wee! Getting a sweat on now. I could have gone to the bloody, it's that warm, I reckon we could have gone for the bloody crocodile. But oh well, weather said it was going to be bad, but it's, it's really nice here. So, uh, yeah, Sham, I didn't find anything good. I thought I was going to find something really good up here. Wasted me time climbing all the way up, and I'm probably going to break my neck on the way down. But uh, you never know what you're going to find. Especially as that bloke had been up here. Oh, I spoke too soon. Might be part of the turtle shell. I'm actually almost sure of it. That's coming with us. Woo! Might have got a bit of tortoise!
That is cool. That would be turtle, I think. Yeah, turtle, because it would be in the water, wouldn't it? We've got a little turtle! Oh my god! I found a little turtle! You see, you got the edge of the shell there. Comes round and round again. Then we've got the little segments coming round. Woo wee! Happy days! And there's me saying there's nothing up here. And we got a turtle. We got a little turtle. Ooh. So I'm going to try not to die now while I'm coming down the cliff. This is dodgy. So what's going down on your bum? Oh, I was just looking down on my feet. Oh, this is a long way down. He's right up there, he was. Still got loads to go. And this is that one boulder that I think, I think the bloke stopped here. I think he was a bit of a wimp. He got to this, had a look, and then just didn't pick it up. Looks like there's some stuff in it. This is called a concretion, where loads of fossils are all jammed up together. Ooh. But he's gone up there. I wouldn't have gone up there when he's gone up there. Because if it's that wet, that he's put that deeper footprints, it's too dangerous, mate. I don't know. I wouldn't have gone up there at all. Not long enough when it was wet. Bone dry, I'll go up there. But, uh, anything else cool? No, I've still got my snails. And I've got my turtle shell. I'm happy about that. Oh, we've got the GoPro. And then, um, oof, I'm on terra firma. I'm thinking another little wander. Check on the bags. Yeah, I think we must check on the bags. Get off the cliff again. I think I just found the biggest fossil of the day. So it starts there and comes all the way down here. And I don't know how far it goes. Look at the size of it! <sighs> Look at the size of that bit of bone! So I can't see anything the other side. But that is the biggest bit of bone of today. Definitely, definitely the biggest bit of bone today. And I can actually take it with us. It's only on a small bit of rock. So, I am gonna make a little sign, so I know that that is it, because it's the only rock stood up straight, so I know to come back and pick it up. So I don't wanna break it from carrying, from walking around, and I don't wanna leave other stuff. So we'll carry on looking. Slate is not what to look through. There's going to be nothing in slate. Tell a lie. Nothing usable in slate. Look at them shells there. Just be more shale, I'd say, more than slate. They're like way for thin fossils. Let's 
just interesting. So find a big sheet. I might try and split it and see if we can find anything else. Mm, might be something. Oh. So we carry on up. I think we're going to pick a spot to aim for. Or well, rocks I want to look at as well. It's a nice thick piece. I'm not falling down the cliff, it's okay. Just sounds like it. Um, I can't see much more. Oh, that's a nice piece up there. So I might need two hands to go any further, so if I find anything I'll let you know. So I've just been going through some lads that have been smashing through the rocks up there. A lot of the stuff they'd missed. I found loads of fossils in there, stuff that they missed. But I just found these weird, this weird looking lo rock. Hmm, I can't figure out what it looks like. Weird looking rock there. Hmm, I'll let you think what you think it looks like. But uh, <laughs> it's a funny looking rock. Just found a tooth. Look how cool that is. Doing really well today. Got most of it all packed up now. It's all in my bag. I've got my delicate stuff in there. So I've got my tortoise shell. And I've got... Oh, I dropped that. Um... Do, 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 do. The biggest fossil of the day, the big bone. So that's in there as well. Keeping safe. And then if I can get a big crystal, I'll get a big crystal on the way back as well. So I've just come across this pile of workings. Look at this big bit of bone they've left. It's, a, it's the second biggest bit of bone I've found today. Another big bit in there. Yeah, they've just smashed it up. And left it. Yeah, you can see there, that's where this was. So, more for me. And, uh, still got a mile yet. I keep stopping for fossils. I've got to stop fossils, stopping for fossils, or so I'm never going to get back. Okay, so we're making our hike back now. So we went about, oh, probably where that bloke is, where the at is. Somewhere around there. Now, first person I've seen all day around this section. But, uh, there yeah, you can see the water's all gone away now. So I think that's low tide. So uh, we should have plenty of time to have a nice stroll back. Pick a nice big crystal to carry back. If I can find that big one we lent up earlier, I'll take that one. And then, uh, yeah, I think we've had a good day today. My foot is killing me. But, uh, yeah, we are push through for a fossil. Each time you get a fossil, you get a little bit of adrenaline rush. And it's all, oh, I'll look for another 10 minutes, another 10 minutes, another 10 minutes. Oh, I'm dying now, though. So we got here for about 12, and it is about 3 o'clock now. I'll probably get home for about... Now, I've still got to hike back, I've still got to hike back, yeah, it's going to take another 10, 20 minutes, maybe half hour, depending on how far I've walked. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, video should be on, on about 8 o'clock tonight, hopefully. Depends on how long it is, it's usually a long one, the fossil ones, it takes me a long time to upload them. But yeah, if you've had a, if you've liked the video today, don't forget, you've got to like, subscribe, comment and share for me. Let me know what you think of the fossils. And, uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. And, uh, whoa.
getting tired now, but I'll uh, when we get round by the bridge, I'll start filming again. As you see now, the sea's go the river's gone right out. <coughs> so we've got low, no, not much danger going on now. The only danger we got is losing our balance because we've got big heavy rocks on our back and getting pulled somewhere we didn't want to go. So I still don't want to get wet. So the main plan is to not get wet. But I was knackered now. I is absolutely pooped. <sighs> but if I'm gonna get another rock, or another crystal, I'm gonna have to uh, find a second wind and uh, I will have probably have 10 minutes break, then we'll carry the uh, crystal back as long as we have no, no problems. But uh, we're on the little walkway now, so we've got to try not to fall off. Because we do not want anything bad to happen. I could probably be down there, but it's the fact of I don't know what it's going to be like. I'm quite fine walking on here. So you remember this was all water last time I came through. Yep, it's all dry as a bone now. So, uh, a little bit easier, isn't it? Less hassle, less danger. So if it had been me, I'd have probably come a little bit early, a little bit later, sorry. So then it was definitely like this, so there's less danger. But I was a little bit keen, got here a little bit earlier, I did. Sorry, my arm's getting tired. But, uh, yeah, really good day. Fantastic, can't believe the fossils are found. The uh, the turtle shell, the uh, the big bones, the little really nice bones. I'm under the bridge now, which is cool. Sorry if I was echoing, but uh, really really good day. Oh, so um, once you get past the bridge, you're on your own then usually. So that's nice. I don't know if anybody's left round here. Oh. There's a couple over there, so uh, we'll have a wander, pick up our crystal, and we'll be on our way. Oh, so that's it for today. Oh, we're at the exit now. We've got the, the pathways up there for how we get back, but uh, I couldn't help it, could I? So, uh, we're going to have a big crystal. <sighs> dying, absolutely dying. But we've got all our good fossils in the tub. Once we don't want to get damaged, everything else is in my bag. And we've got the gravity crystal, so. Ooh we I hope you enjoyed the video today. I'll probably show you some of the fossils we've got in the car when we get when we get loaded and I'll show you a better look when we get home. So uh woo! Fossil adventure episode number three. Almost finished. Just gonna look at the fossils. Of course, he's had a walk and half. So I made it back to the car. So we'll have a look at some of the fossils. So I haven't got them all out because it's just, I'm just out of the car. I'm just rugging that rock back was just ridiculous. But uh, we've got the fossilized turtle, which is probably the best find of the day. Um, then we've got the biggest bit of bone. Really, really nice. Um, got the big quartz crystal. Um, we've got the tooth. Really good. Um, we've got that nice bit of bone. Uh, I found this as well. Quartz, but look how red it is. I don't know, never seen red quartz, seen pink quartz there, but not as red as that. But uh, yeah, I'll probably show you the rest when I get home, because I want to go home. So uh, <laughs> I'm going home, so I'll uh, I'll show you, I'll empty my bag at home and show you what we've got. We made it back home. Oh, he's a tired boy today. He's a tired boy, so uh, I've got all my fossils laid out and uh, the quartz and stuff we found today. So, uh, let's have a butcher, shall we? So that's today's find. So we've got our tortoise, no, or uh, turtle shell. 
which I think is absolutely amazing. Um, we've got a nice bit of bone here. We've got a tooth. Um, we've got my little bit of bone in there. We've got my big bit of bone. So I've washed it and the tooth has come out as well. So we've got the big piece of bone. We've got the tooth. There's another bit of bone there. So I am well chuffed with this piece. Um, we've got this one here I want to try and get because it looks like it comes through there as well. Um, there's a big one on here I want to have a look at. There's another piece of bone there. Some more bone there, there and there. Uh, this one, there's bone here, here, here. That's going to be a nice piece once I chisel that off. Uh, another piece here. Some quartz crystal. Um, some more there. Oh, let's have a move around. Uh, I missed one on there, did I? No, that was that one, wasn't it? Um, so these are all the little pieces. All the little teeth and stuff. Uh, some more of the little teeth. Another bit of bone. Another bit of tough. Um, yeah, I think that's just the teeth on that one. And this one. I think it was in there, but it's fell out of my bag. I'm not sure. Not sure with that one. So we've got that there. Uh, this one, we've got that nice piece of bone. This one, we've got this big piece of bone. Um, then we've got some more of my crystals. Another one of my big flat crystals. When my phone started playing up, there's someone was trying to message me at the same time. So we come around here, look at some of my other crystals. So this is the, the weird clearer crystals, which are cool. We've got my big quartz crystal. Oh yeah, Michelle made it look. We made it all the way home. Now these are all the quartz, the, I don't know if they are quartz. If they are, it's clear quartz. These are the actual proper crystals I found. Which is quite cool. Um, oh, we've got that in there. And that there. And then... Got that nice piece, my big crystal. Whoop! So is that crystal? I think that's. I bet it's bigger than my other one. I reckon it is. But yeah, fantastic day today. I brought them back just in case because I'm not sure. And this is the reddest bit of quartz I've ever seen. So that was nice. But yeah, fantastic day. One, two, three, four-ish amazing pieces. Really happy with all five. I like that one as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Oh, fossil hunting again. Knackers me out, you do. Oh, but um, it's good fun. Really good fun. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe and I hope you give us a comment and a share for me. Um, I'll try and do some more adventures as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, really good day. Um, if you want to watch another video of mine, there should be a box over there. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, there should be a circle up there. I'll uh, see you in the future. Bye.